Thank you. How are you? Well, lovely to see you. How are you guys doing? Very well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, good. very well. Lovely. Well, good to see you. But uh, I want to ask you a question. What's yes. the sort of favourite type of voice that you like listening to? Well, as the, as the father mm. of two small children, mm. silence. <laughs> That's why I like you in our house. Good answer. Baby sleeping. Yes. Uh, no, I, I quite like a kind of husky, um, kind of sexy sort of, you know. Two packs of bags and a bottle of bourbon and kind of, <laughs> kind of nice. Why, hi, Nick, how you doing? <laughs> um, um, change your mind on that one, actually. You've changed your mind, have you? What about you, Leslie? Oh, I think uh, a man's deep, husky voice. Really? Deep voice. You like that? Yes. Well, I might have something in store for you a little bit later, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, we've got a couple of people on the programme today who actually specialise in voiceovers. Let's uh, speak to the first of them about what she gets up to in her spare time. Please welcome actress and voiceover expert Charlotte Avery. <laughs> Charlotte, tell us all about this voiceover business, then. You've been doing it a long time? I have, yeah. As well as um, being an actress and mm. presenter, I've always done voiceovers, mm. which I find supports my other work perfectly. Sure. And you don't have to dress up, do you? you can just doesn't turn matter, up. It doesn't matter what you look like. Yeah, you could just... You could pretend to be anybody. Oh, really? What's your <laughs> favourite type? Do you have a favourite voice you like to do? Um, I usually get asked to do two different mm. types of voice. Mm. One is kind of mumsy, mm. and the other one is sexy. Oh, <laughs> OK, do the sex good, do the yeah. sex Tip out your bag and tell us in a sexy voice what you've got inside. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> oh Charlotte, baby, Charlotte. <laughs> OK. Right, we have mm. um, fillet of pork. Mm -hmm. I always only ever roast pork, mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting to have something done nice with that. Sure. You can. Couscous, my little boy's favourite. I think a lot of people think it's boring and bland, but mm. it doesn't have to be, does it? It can be jazzed up, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. It was like rice or potato. You need to add something to make it kind of That's a little right. bit more inviting. <laughs> Got a spaghetti squash spaghetti there. Spaghetti squash. I've never even heard of that before, and mm -hmm. I saw that and I thought, let's bring it on the show. Absolutely. And Ramiro pepper pears and, and a couple of banana slots. Uh, how much did you spend with some chickpeas too? Seven pounds forty-five. Wow, you're allowed up to seven pounds fifty. Bag. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Happy with that, Nick? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, uh, bunch of ingredients. I'm sure yeah. you did some some nice stuff with that. Okay, all sorts of lovely voices we're going to have today. Perhaps Nick will cooking a sexy voice for us today. But first, here's Perhaps a man who not. undoubtedly has a wonderfully sexy voice, right up Leslie Street. Please welcome movie trailer man Red Pepper. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming you? along. Meet our Leslie. Hi, Hi. Good how are you doing, all right? Yeah. Mm. So, how did you get into voiceover work then, uh, um, Red? Funnily enough, I used to be a train driver yeah. on the underground and basically uh, somebody very high up in the TV world. Oh, did he make your legs go, girls? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's how I got into it by basically making an announcement on the PA and somebody heard me and the rest is history. Yeah, in my day when you got on the train, all you ever heard was one of my sort of black brothers saying, mind the gap. <laughs> 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 it's all changed now, isn't it, eh? Oh, Sexy man. voices on the underground now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look in your bag. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right, what have you brought along for us? Oh, a bit of a snapper there. Um, right? right, yeah. Well, basically, red snapper, because simply every time I taste it, I think, oh, Baby, it's just a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful fish. Uh, uh, so do I. The new potatoes, like new potatoes, simply because I got a five-year-old and they fit on his spoon. He loves them. Yeah. Um, pineapple, beautiful fruit, goes with pretty much any kind of food. Um, and the rest is just... Well, sprouting broccoli, you've got some uh, salad onions, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. How much do you spend, Red? Just five pence over. Seven fifty-five. Well, we're not going to worry about that. It's difficult to get the fish to get that balance, isn't it? Because it might be a little bit more than you expect. Overall, though, Les, happy with the bag? Oh, it's beautiful. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Can you just mm -hmm. say wonderful again? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's not going to cook anything. Oh, She's drooling. <laughs> you have a chat. We'll be back. <laughs> Go on, Nick. <laughs> OK, Ains, so we're going to... Uh, one of the pairs will punch that in red wine and... Uh, We'll serve that with a little bit of uh, honey and uh, uh, yoghurt, Greek yoghurt. <laughs>
they will make some really nice citrusy herby couscous mm. and we'll roast the pepper and stuff mm. that and have a nice big bowl of that and I think with, the, with the, some of the pork we'll char grill it mm. and serve it with a, a, a chutney made with the other uh, the other pair here mm -hmm. and then with the rest of it we'll stir fry it and we'll do it with a kind of crushed chickpeas and squash thing and we'll make a bit of a soup and we'll hollow out the squash and put the soup in the squash and Beautiful. I'll probably get lost and just make beans so and toast. Should a bit of char grilled on that? That'd be quite nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, like med medallions, char grilled. No, yeah. Nice medallions. How does that yeah. sound? For a pregnant, Fantastic. for a mum to be, what, four and a half months pregnant? Four and a half months, can't Brilliant. wait. Brilliant. Congratulations, by the way, Charlotte. Thank looking, you. Looking forward to it, no doubt. OK, Nick, it sounds delicious. You're happy with that? Yeah, very. Yeah. OK, we'll look forward to seeing that. Over to you now, Red. Let's see what mm. Leslie's got up her sleeve. Um, I think we're going to do two things with the fish. We'll do a tagine mm -hmm. and we'll do um, just very simply griddled fish with a pineapple and coriander salsa to go with it. Mm. Keep it really clean and mm. simple. Some sort of potato style kebabs. Um, a, a pineapple tatan because mm. we've got lots of pineapple there. And chilli and broccoli. It, with um, chilli butter. Broccoli with broccoli Lovely. butter is fantastic. Looking forward to that. Sound good? Yeah, Red? it sounds very good to me. <laughs> <laughs> sounds yeah. pretty good to me. <laughs> sounds pretty good to me too. I got 20 minutes when I say ready, steady, cook. <laughs> Okay, let's get go, cooking now, go, guys. Go, 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 go for your way, apron. Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, nearly lost your squash there. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick's going to do some absolutely fantastic things with the squash. We've got the couscous he's going to cook down. He talks about introducing lovely big flavours into food. It's exactly what he's going to do. Char grilled off that beautiful tenderloin of pork there. Introduced lots of citrusy flavours and even some delightful poached pears. Over the other side, Leslie has got a rather nice snapper here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about snapper later on, but she's going to serve that with a pineapple salsa, also some of that pie plum, pineapple, it's going to go into a tatan, and we've got the broccoli with lovely chilli, we've got potatoes that are going to be served in like a kebab, which is a bit unusual, isn't it? But it's, it's a nice way of doing it, and hopefully we're going to give you lots of lovely ideas over the course of the next 20 minutes. In fact, even longer than that, we've got the quickie bag later. No spoons. And a competition, you could win yourself a fantastic £300 gourmet hamper, don't go away. Nick, we, we, so just, oh, uh, here we are. I have no spoons, so I'm just going to steal some. Here. Okay. Do you want to scrape, scrape those seeds out for me? Okay, Chef. That's yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much. And uh, what are we going to do with this then? Charlotte, Diane, could you mm -hmm. um, peel those pears for yep. me? I'm going to peel them. I'm just going to roast them with some of the squash ends. Uh -huh. uh, there's a peeler oh, there. And, just and you, you particularly down, fond of the old uh, Romero pepper? Is it something that uh, um, I am inclined? indeed? Yes. Yeah. No, no, um, I think they're, they're much sweeter, aren't they, Nick? Thinner skinned, yeah. uh, sweeter, quicker to cook. You know, a, a mm. thick skinned red pepper really yeah. takes about 40 minutes or 30 minutes in the oven yeah. in a hot oven to get properly cooked through. Really lovely and yeah. charred, release some of that delightful sweetness that um, you associate with it. So we're going to chuck in, get the seeds yeah. out of there, chuck them in with some of that, uh, the okay. garlic come over. Uh, so in they go for mm. roasting, uh -huh. along with some of the garlic. Take some lovely. Of... Oh, now tell us a little bit about that, that spag squash. Well, we know it's a winter squash because it's got the tough skin on it. Yeah, it's not one of the, the, the soft, <coughs> sort of courgette mm. type things. We need one of those uh, mm. melon uh, ballers mm. here. And it's got those little lines in it. I suppose that's the indication of that spaghetti thing. It's kind of a little bit stringy. Stringy, when yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So they really need to be cooked all the way uh, through. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do with this part here is I'm going to actually uh, skin it and chop it up and roast it. Yeah. And the other half will just <coughs> stick in the oven hole okay. and it will roast. So you can see, now, as you said, that fibrous kind of stringiness which sure. gives it the name. Okay. Uh, spaghetti I don't normally help the chefs at this point, ladies and gentlemen, but we really need to get this cooked, get in the oven and get it cooked as quickly as possible, and that's what Nick's doing. Notice he's removing that tough skin. This is a winter squash, like pumpkin, like butternut squash. They've got tough skins and hard seeds, unlike the summer squash, the courgettes, courgettes which has got yeah. soft seeds and soft skin, and it needs very, very little cooking. All right, my man, three minutes okay, well, gone already. Nearly. I'll come back and see. I'm looking forward to seeing. What are you going to do? Just roast, roast that it, off your skin? Olive oil, garlic, a little bit of thyme through the uh, hot oven. Beautiful. Okay, everything All of that on there. Yeah. Look at those lovely, vibrant colours. They really are coming through. Get you a bit of olive oil, Chef. Thank you very much. There we are. You're in a very kind of helpful mood today, eh? I know. We need a little yeah. bit of help there, yeah, don't we, Chef? Thank you very much. Very uh -huh. appreciative okay. of all that. Ah, lovely. So, there we are. A bit of oil. that. 
And a little bit of, uh, I've got some, Spr some sprigs of thyme, mate. There we are. A little bit of rosemary. Oh, beautiful. Look at there that. you go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's Thank go you. down and see Leslie. OK, we are over here. We're scaling the... at the moment. We're scaling. Do you want to go and have a look? Oh, lovely. Oh, what Reddy's doing. Mm. Can you just see the way that he's just rubbing those off there? Absolutely. And the uh, thing about snapper, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to say, quite tough skins. Some fish don't have that. Tough skins, quite large scales. You can see them. They're going all over the studio or the kitchen at the moment. Hey, do, do you like uh, going out and buying fresh? Fish it, then? Yeah, I yeah. love it. Absolutely. Mm. You've got to watch out for the eyes. Make sure they're fresh looking, as you know. Yeah, so you've got to have a nice, fresh looking eyes. Oh, exactly. Give it a I wash wish now. I, I wish I could say good. eyes like that, Les. Yeah, eyes. You've got to watch out for the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for the eyes, baby. Lovely. Fantastic. Now, so where have we heard your voice before then, Red? Uh, movies, usually movie trainers. Yeah. Um, if you've been to the cinema, you've heard a voice say, in the world, coming soon, out now. Usually me. Usually. I'd like to get you out right now, mate, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> <That'll work. laughs> okay, let's rinse that fish off. Let's, let, let's say she wants that. Uh, have you always had quite an impressive voice? So let me just finish that, that, that bit there for you. Well, not really. I mean, when I was uh, about 14 years old is when it broke. Yeah. Literally coming down the stairs one morning, it was like, good morning, mum. Yeah. You know, it just came down out of the blue. It like, just changed. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Come round here. Come round here for me, Red. Like, I'm just tidying up here. All okay. right, Les, what do you want done with that fish, my darling? OK, I want it washed and I want it dried and I want it left on that board. OK, here we are, little um, Red. If you just dry it off with a bit of the old kitchen paper gotcha. and we can get that going. All right, Les, tell us what's happening now, my love. Right, OK, so what we're going to do now is just get these tatans going. Uh -huh. We've also um, have started to get the tagine going. So I've made a bit of a paste here with garlic, coriander, a little mm. bit of chilli. Yeah. Sorry, is that okay. scale there? Yeah. yeah. And a little bit of ketchup just to give it sweetness. Now, look at that, and that's kind and, of blitzed down. You and put that a into fresh a food tomato processor. in as well, yeah? Mm. Uh, just to sort of get, give us a bit of a paste, really. Yeah. Not harissa, but, you know, to, a little bit of a Improvised spice paste. Improvised kind of uh, sort of. Along, yeah. along the same lines. And it really does smell lovely, you know, guys. Um, one of those little uh, mini blitzes, you can see the little mini food processors. That's so handy. There's just one or two of you at home. They're absolutely ideal. Even if you've got a family, quick and easy. Just speeds things up a little bit. Put that down on your, your list for your birthday present or something like that. All right, we've got the potatoes that are cooking off. You said you were going to kebab them. Oh, Les, yeah, I am. boning but, out but, at the moment. What you're going to do, Red, you're going to have a go at doing this for mm -hmm. me, OK? Yeah. Now, it can be a little bit tricky. So we're going to we get two fillets off a of flatfish, mm -hmm. and what I want you to do is just very gently just rub. Can you hear the noise of the fish, mm. or should I say, not of the fish of the bone, well. um, as you're running it along? And I just just. Ouch. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Shut up. It's that voice. It's just so <laughs> lovely. You comfortable okay. with that, Red? I think I'll have a go. Yeah. That's OK. You're just comfortable, then we can just turn yeah, that just over. Just very, very gently. Just, just yeah. watch your fingers and move your fingers as you go. We're too right. Yeah? Lovely. I think he's doing... I think he needs a bit of encouragement, Legend. ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Tell me, you, used to be, you, you, said, you said you worked on the tubes, you and did you ever have fun with everybody? Yeah, literally, just sort of passengers and people like that. Did you ever get... Uh, occasionally, I used to turn the lights out in the tunnels, as you do. Yeah. And on, like, Halloween night especially, I'd turn the lights out in the tunnel and say, this is your driver speaking. <laughs> 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 you know, I used to mess around a lot, but yeah. uh, generally, generally it, was, it was a cool job. Mm. But uh, I couldn't see myself doing it forever, so... You couldn't see yourself doing Not it forever. Really. So couldn't. you like the idea of being able to sort of go off and travel. Do you ever go to Hollywood? Do you ever meet any of the big stars? I've met a lot of them over here, like Samuel L. Jackson, Will Smith, um, Tommy Lee Jones. I've met quite a few of them. There we are. Uh, Anthony Thanks, Hopkins. Mike. Yeah. And they're pretty cool people, actually. Sometimes you think that stars are not going to be great outside of work, but sure. they're really cool They're nice guys. people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you briefly about the old Red Snapper. It's fabulous for making gelatine. That oh, means that... And uh, stock. And stock. stock. So it's just great. If you've got bones like this, you're looking for a bit of fish stock, don't forget, you can always make it, boil it up, a little bit of onion and uh, carrot or celery thrown in there. It doesn't take long. We're I mean, talking about sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, no more than that. It will extract all that flavour, reduce it down, 
put it into a little ice tray or something like that and pop it in your freezer. Ideal, wash that off for a thread. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed, Les. We've got tartar tan or pineapple to tan on the way here. Yeah. Briefly. And just there? basically butter, sugar and the pineapple. I'm going to put bread mm. on the top soaking butter and then yeah. bake it in the oven and turn it Beautiful. Out. Sauce is okay. cooking down. Let's get back down to here, Chef Nick Nair. We've neglected him for a bit, so let's find out what's happening here, Chef. Okay. Tell us. The char grilling's coming away nicely on here, Ains. Yeah. And uh, the... Actually, I'm just going to take... Uh, mm. The problem with pit air is I'm poaching them. Sure. Is the, the blooming thing is float. So okay. You can just to sit on top there just to keep that thing... Kind uh, of floating, keeping it down, keeping it submerged. There we go. That'll do it. There you go. Yeah. Lovely. And, and what is this? Is salt and pepper on here, Chef? Just salt and pepper, olive oil, nothing yeah. else. All right. Uh, this is just the pork fillet that's been finally shredded up. We're going to mm. stir-fry that. Over here, we mm. have some couscous, which has just been uh, uh, put in a bowl. You've just covered that some boiling water. I'm going to chop and um, herbs and zest orange. If I, OK, and why actually, the cling film on the top? Seals all the, uh, the steam in. Uh, yeah. just gonna, the, the couscous is just going to rehydrate. It's just going to suck up all the water. It's just like mini little grains sure. of uh, and pasta. Sure, and could, you could put stock in there instead of water, because uh, it just you, soaks you, everything. You up, absolutely could. And, yeah. and in fact, I was going to do that very thing. Yeah? yeah. All right, halfway <laughs> now. Do you do that type of thing at home? You were saying that, you know, the family kind of like the couscous. You're, is it five-year-old, you Yeah, saying? Well, my little boy loves couscous, and mm -hmm. I find that you can just... Just throw anything in it, you know, sure. bacon, whatever you've got like, left over, and yeah. it's always. I think it's easy to eat for them as well, you know, Absolutely. they can put it on a spoon and it's easy for them. Really to encouraging eat. for you mums out there looking for an alternative, the average pasta rice or something like that. You know, because good product too, yep. quite healthy product, incorporate that. And, uh, you know, obviously you're in a very delicate state at the moment, delicate, I think happy state we should call it. I think Not being delicate. pregnant is very delicate. No, no, it's all. <laughs> number, Not ha number what? Number three. Number three, fantastic. Yes. Number three. Okay, any cravings? Um, actually, I have craved salty things this yeah. pregnancy. Things yeah. like, I've got gherkins in my fridge, which I never usually have. Anchovies. And anchovies, capers. Yeah, salty capers. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't my know if that means anything. Them. I love them, but you can't eat them. You've got to cook for two people sometimes at home, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> What about uh, Holly, your wife, Nick? Any cravings when you're expecting your baby? Anchovies as well. Really? Yeah. It's tins, funny, tins, isn't it? Tins anchovies and uh, custard. Custard. Tinned custard. Yes. So fishy custard. Yeah. Sounds nice. Yeah, weird it, sort eh? of uh, combination. Anchovies and custard. Do that again, Nick. The girls yeah. like it. Yeah, in the front row. <laughs> That's a few extra votes there, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make it taste any better, but hey, it's a bit of fun. Okay. Right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure so many of you are out there who are big. East Ender fans recognise lovely Charlotte here. She played Tina, right. so you've got that. Um, and now, how, what about that character? Do people liken you to the real sort of Tina, or? Yeah, it's the funny thing. I mean, I was fortunate enough in the soap to play a likable character. Mm. So even now, I mean, I left in November, but sometimes, you know, when I'm out on the street, it's usually when I'm dragging the kids out for the car and I've got my jeans halfway down there and one's on one arm and one's on the other, and somebody says. Well, yeah. it is you, isn't it? Oh, no. They say, oh, we see you on the telly and you're so glamorous and you're so slim. Oh, well, you are slim. <laughs> but in real life, you're just an ordinary mum. <laughs> you're a bit rough. Oh, thanks. You're a bit rough in ordinary life, you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> no, but the way she was dressing, said, the way oh, people yeah. look at her. <laughs> now, what about your what the voices? Do you like doing that sort of sultry, sort of sexy voice or the mumsy thing? What do you prefer? Yeah, I mean... The thing is, you, you have mm. to do whatever you're employed to do. I mm. mean, like I said earlier, usually, if I'm doing um, a Monty voice, it's yeah. sort of very warm and endearing, and you just want to rush out and buy anything that don't sell it. Yeah. It's all like that. But the, uh, the sexy voice, yeah. well, that's something completely different altogether. Mm. And it's usually very low. Very low. Very salty. Uh, it is. Uh, do, do you have to look after your voice, then? Do you have to sort of uh, take certain medications and things? Not really. I mean... For me, I have quite a naturally husky voice, mm. so you don't really have to do anything. Yeah. It's the sort of... Well, husky you can voice. have late nights and stay up. Not that I do it time of mum, but that, oh, that oh, adds no. to it all, Smoke doesn't it? 50 fags, drink life. a bottle of scotch, and then go to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's lovely. Hey, it's good talking to you, Charlotte. We've also got some absolutely fabulous food here. Chef, tell us about that. That smells so this, aromatic. This, this is the uh, the uh, chutney. Yeah. So we've got uh, shallots, garlic, olive oil, 
the pear, mm. and then we've got lots and lots of uh, uh, white wine, vinegar, uh, caster sugar, and chili. Okay. I'm just cooking that down, and then I'm going to finish that off with a bit of uh, freshly chopped coriander. Okay. But I now need masses of herbs chopped okay. up for this couscous. Okay, just so look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Caster yes. sugar, white wine, and a little okay. fleck of chili. You don't yeah. need. If you don't like it spicy, don't put the chili in. You know, all we're here to yeah. do is to yeah. try and guide you, give you a, a few yeah. tips yeah. along yeah. the way. I'll put your water down here, Nick. Okay. Right, thanks, Aint. And Lovely. then for the couscous as well, it's got all the zest here. So we've got lime zest, lemon zest, and orange zest. And just smell that, yeah. guy. Who's full oh, of that? Wow. wow. Isn't that just so fragrant? And all That's the great... oils and everything come out of the skin, don't they, Nick? So you really do get all that lovely flavour. That's where flavor. the citric uh, character yeah. is it's in, it's in the skin. Mm -hmm. OK, so the couscous actually only takes Beautiful. about three minutes. And you okay. can see it's all sort so of about torn just up. under six minutes to go now. So what you have to do now is fork it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it comes away and it should be nice and dry and fluffy and crumbly and not okay. all stuck together. So at this stage we add all the citrus and some of the juice as well. So juice of about half a lemon, half a lime mm -hmm. and half an orange in there as well. All of that and goes in there. A huge big pile uh, of the herbs, herbs that, yeah. uh, that Charlotte's chopping up. Uh -huh. They'll go in as well. Olive oil and a bit of seasoning, a bit of salt and pepper in there as well. So Lovely. And what herbs are you chopping up there, Charles? I think we've got some coriander, we've got a bit of... Um, Fat leaf parsley. Parsley. And mint, probably. Mint. Smells Ooh. absolutely delicious. It's just lovely, isn't it? Fresh mm. herbs. Fresh herbs. They Fantastic. really are. They're just so, so pungent. OK, and inside, don't forget, we've got that lovely spaghetti squash away. that Nick is roasting off. And we've also got the lovely combination, the Romero pepper. Remember, okay. we cut that up, the onion. All of that's in there, roasting off. And that really does char a little bit and bring out all the sugars and the flavours. Looking forward to seeing it. Let's get back down to Leslie in a red tomato food. kitchen here. And uh, literally, there's just under five minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Leslie hadn't panicked. We often say this on the programme, don't overcook your fish. She's only just put her fish in to cook. Look at that, it's just going in now. So you don't need to cook it really uh, too soon, all right? Yeah. Lovely. Now, Does it Les... carry on cooking, Ames? That's yeah, it certainly know. will carry on cooking. Tell us about this lovely mix that you've got here, Les. What's in here OK, again? this is the, um, the paste that we made earlier, Ames, yeah? yeah? With the garlic and the chilli oil and... Um, spring onion and coriander and a fresh tomato going in there. Beautiful. I'm just going to taste it now, make sure it's okay. Um, Red's making the salsa, oh, so season yeah. with salt and pepper, mint, mm. coriander. Very, very yeah. simple. Yeah, four minutes to go. Just look at that. It's just so fresh and lovely, isn't it, Abe? Mm. Yeah. I can't wait. Mmm, I know I you can't, can't wait. wait What's your favourite voice, then? What was the favourite one that you've done after oh, all these man. years? Oh, favourite. Yeah. It was the easiest ones, the ones we walk in and say, like, Batman Returns, and that's it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the simple ones. £500, please. <laughs> Mind the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sometimes that's right. OK, now, um, I thought one of the lo most loveliest things when we were talking earlier on was you telling me when you took your son to the cinema and oh, you're yeah. sitting down there and he was sitting there with his yeah. mate. You tell the story, though, Red. What happened? I went to the cinema with the kids yeah. and, um... One of my trailers came on over the speakers, and my kid said to his friend, that's my dad. And he says, oh, no, it's not. And I said, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that lovely? A hey, one up one ship, yeah. Everyone wants to be his best friend after that. I know that. Les, you talked about that's potato it. kebab. Explain to They're in. Now. They're in okay. the oven. Do you want to open the door? Um, OK, we won't because we've got a couple of things going in there. Do you want oh, me to have right. a look? OK, they were parboiled eggs for about ten minutes, then put it on a skewer with a little butter and olive oil. OK, have a look right, here, I guys. I need the chilli flakes. Oh, Where have right. they gone? There chili we flakes. go. They're just Ames. beautiful. That's it. I'm just rolling those around. They look at them. They're browning up beautifully. Oh, thanks, just, Ames. Just a nice way of uh, <laughs> serving the potatoes, <laughs> guys. Flakes. Really, just looking for new ways. Do you know what I mean? Nick, you've got any chili flakes, And of course, we've got the uh, bread. Instead of Leslie putting that kind Ooh. of pastry on the top. We haven't got any pastry. She's taken a bit of bread, guys. Think about all the ingredients that go into bread. And they're just baked off, and they're going to be the kind of the, the uh, underneath oh, you actually. Found them. Chili flakes. For the. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two black okay. men in one day, eh? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. What lovely. To say? The fish has turned oh, over. We've got two minutes to go. The tomatoes, all the lovely, vibrant colours. We've got the broccoli with the chilli in there, or the calabrese, if you like, or sprouting broccoli. We've got the sauce that's going to be finished off underneath the uh, beautiful <laughs> snapper there. All sorts of things happening. Back down to Nick. And I've got to say, the smell 
of that couscous. All those mm. lovely citrusy smells are really just kind of coming through beautifully there. Okay. okay, we've got one and a half minutes to go. Let's get this going. Oh, what are you crushing down there? Is that all these I'm lovely? I'm crushing yeah. the squash. Now I can see why it's called spaghetti squash. Can you see that? When you crush it, it it's... looks like a piece of spaghetti. That's it, mm. absolutely. Let me move these out of the way for you. It looks good too, doesn't it's it? Delicious. All those lovely colours and flavours and everything. Beautiful. OK. And how will you be serving this then, Nick, the squash? Um, haven't quite decided yet. Uh-huh. Um, plenty of time for that. How much time have we got? Oh, well, you've got about a minute, I think, <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not much time at all. You know, we'll just chuck it on. It'll look lovely. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's all coming together okay. now, isn't it, Charlotte? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all sorts of wonderful things. Remember, audience, you are voting for what the chef did with the ingredients. Think that, about yeah. it. Okay. How creative yeah. they've been. Have they given you enough information? Will you go home and think, I could do that? Think about all those very, very important things. OK, we've got about 40 seconds to go now. No. We've had some lovely fish. We've had beautiful bits of pork and stuff like that. Oh, tenderloin of pork. A lot of people say, what about tenderloin? I say it dries out when you cook. So really make sure you serve it with a bit of a sauce or yes, don't overcook it. All right, let's get all the rest of this fish out. OK, 20 seconds to go now. There we are. All right, Les, out with your bits and pieces. All just get ready to help me count down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, You're one. Good at Stop! Now, ladies and gentlemen, to remind you, Red, come and join me over here. To remind you of what our chef started with, Red, do you want to read this out in your lovely, uh, sexy voice? Oh, man, OK. This is Nick Nairn's bag. Nick Nairn's bag with Charlotte had fillet of pork, couscous, spaghetti squash, Romero pepper, pears, <laughs> tin of chickpeas, and shallots. <laughs> yes, and what about Leslie Walters? And, Hold and on. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, and Leslie? And my Leslie had red, red snapper, New potatoes, vine tomatoes, purple sprout and broccoli, pineapple, and salad onions. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Great. There you go. OK, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're over here with Charlotte and Nick. And, uh, Nick, <sighs> first you've got to come up with a name. And Charlotte's got all this lovely food to feed to your little one in there. Go on. on. Yeah, you go, you go ahead. What are you going to call it, Nick? Thinking, 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 thinking. Easy chick peasy. Yeah. <laughs> OK, tell us what you did. Um, well, first of all, the, the uh, spaghetti squash, uh, cut it in half, hollowed it out, mm -hmm. uh, one half of it took the skin off, chopped it up, put it into a roasting tin with some thyme and some garlic and some olive oil, some of the romero pepper, some garlic and the shallot, and we bunged that in the oven and roasted it down. And then we made, uh, uh, with the other, uh, with the one of the pears, we uh, chopped that up with some shallot and some uh, chilli, mm -hmm. and a big uh, 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 garlic in there as well. Cooked that down, then white wine vinegar, caster sugar, reduced that down to the lovely sweet and sour, with lots of chilli flakes, mm. and finished it with coriander. Mm. And then poached the other pear in red wine and vanilla with some uh, uh, Greek yoghurt mm -hmm. and, and honey, and you just kind of drizzle the honey over the top mm. of the pear, and it just kind of drizzles down like that, like mm. so. And then a bit of that together. Yeah. And then we char grilled mm. three medallions of pork fillet, mm -hmm. just with salt and pepper and olive oil. And then um, crushed down some of the squash and the mm. shallots and the, mm. the garlic and chickpeas and, and, and olive oil and lemon juice and herbs and put that on top. And He's trying to sound like red now, isn't he? Um, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I'm obviously failing. But... <laughs> So we'll just talk like this then. <laughs> so, so we just got the couscous and we put in some herbs and uh, some zest. Oh, I think you're going to get a voiceover job. <laughs> what do you think? Tell us. Absolutely uh, delicious. I yeah. mean, that's that is the the, the the pear and the pork go brilliantly together. Mm. I just I can't believe he's made so much in such a short space of time, and it all tastes fantastic. Well done, well done. But, but you can believe I don't get much voiceover work. <laughs> 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 OK, Led, what are you going to call it? Now, please, Red, pick up your cutlery and get stuck in. Get have stuck a taste. in. Yeah. Um, I think I've got to call it My Red Pepper yeah. is a dapper snapper. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
OK. Yeah. What did you do with all your lovely ingredients? OK, well, Red filleted it. And mm. we basically just very, very simply put some salt and pepper and um, pineapple in there. Have a taste of that. Mm. And um, we just griddled off the, the fish. Very, very simple. Mm. And we also Beautiful. made a pineapple, very fresh olive oil, mint mm. and coriander salsa with the spring onions. So it's Beautiful. very, very fresh. Okay. Here, if you get your spoon in there, Red, this mm. is just the um, sort of tagine we kind of made. And you've got the lovely big... fish underneath we've there. We've got the fish you, there. And we've there got the sauce there. So if you get a big sort of chunk of the fish there, there you go, and the sauce, um, mm. which mm. is quite there spicy, but not too spicy. If it is too hot, then a little bit of natural yogurt on the side there, mm. which will just sort of just very, very simply take the heat away. Mm. Good. How's that? That's what I'm talking about. That's okay. beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And then we've just, we've very simply, I think mm. this, um, this tender stem broccoli is just, I think it's best pick it up with your fingers, Red, and just eat it. It's just been tossed in a bit of butter and some chilli flakes. So mm -hmm. just... Just, just in some water for about four or five minutes. Drain it in butter and chilli. Just really, really simple Fantastic. to eat with the fish. And what do you think, Red? Very briefly about the pineapple, Les. And then pineapple, the pineapple tatan was just really brown sugar, pineapple and butter and bread and lime juice on the top. And if you just cut that, Red, you can just mm -hmm. get in there. Good, It'll happy. It'll still probably be very, very hot. I'm in my element here. Yeah. <laughs> OK, both Red and, of course, Charlotte's in their element, ladies and gentlemen. Hardly surprising. You saw the food, believe me, they said it tastes fantastic. But have they sufficiently impressed our audience? Is it going to be a green pepper day or a red tomato one? Let's ask them. Will you all please vote now? Well, up they go. Just check this out, guys. Isn't this close? This looks very close, but would you believe there's a few more? Green! Oh! Oh! Peppers! <laughs> 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 Congratulations, Charlotte. There you go, £100 spending money, which I believe you're going to donate to your favourite charity. I am. I want to donate this to a charity called Action Village India, which supports and educates rural um, communities in India. Too. Fantastic. Lovely. Thank you so much. Great having you on the programme. Really lovely. Good luck with everything. Good luck with baby too. Hey, well done, my man. Oh, Always pleasure. a pleasure. Well, you saw how close that was. Oh, that hey? was close. You, that was really you close. You probably oh, locked man. up there. You should have <laughs> winked at a few more of them out there, shouldn't you, hey? I should have, shouldn't I? There we are. Just turn out the light like you did on the tube and say, <laughs> vote for me. Vote for me. <laughs> Great having you, Red. You go home with a lovely Thoroughly hamper, that. courtesy Beautiful. of Ready, Steady, Cook. Thank you All very sorts much. of goodies in there. Thanks. And good luck with the voiceover career. I, I don't think you're going to have any problem, and uh, no. you're not going to have a problem because you're going to do some more cooking over here. Indeed. Uh, come and join us, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say a very big thank you to voiceover specialist Charlotte Avery and Red Pepper. <laughs> Quickie goodies on the way. Be careful there. Oh, I that was booze. Uh, it, it certainly felt like it, but it's a lovely bottle of pure maple syrup. Hey, it takes 30 years for those maple trees to grow before they can tap that stuff out, you know. And we've got some orange, uh, some Jamaica cake, I should say, some apricot halves, pecans, and creamy soft cheese. Not much time, guys. We need to crack on. OK, it's over to you, Les. What would you do with this little lot? I would do um, ginger and apricot puddings with a um, type of butterscotchy, pecan-y sauce. And I would do an apricot fall type of trifle thing and perhaps some apricot Apricot beignets. Oh, well, lovely. That's a kind of fried, crispy, crunchy beignets with a little bit of yoghurt cream. What about okay. you, Nick? Kind of similar, yeah. but slightly different. Uh, instead of a full, I'd do a mousse, apricot mousse, with some caramel brittle yeah. with pecans. And you could do a sort of ginger uh, um, um, like bread and butter pudding. Mm -hmm. with, uh, well, sticky toffee pudding type thing. Sticky, sticky toffee pudding, sticky that's toffee. the one. Yeah, sticky, sticky toffee, toffee pudding, pudding, that's the one. Mm. Ooh, lovely. Hey, Ooh. what do our studio audience want to see? Let's find out. Green pepper, red tomato, over to you guys. Will you all please vote now? Wow, look at this. Hey, mm. hey have you seen that, Liz? I should have kept my mouth yeah. closed, shouldn't I? It's a oh, sticky, sticky toffee, toffee pudding. pudding. Yeah. Let's get cooking. Here we go. Okay, your ten minutes cooking time chef starts now. Let's do it for you. Okay, what can we do for you, Nick? Wes, could you do some, make some caramel for me and maybe yeah. make some prali for those okay. uh, pecan nuts? And uh, if you had time, you know those lovely big thick pancakes you do. Because yeah. pancakes and maple syrup, this is going to be one of the All best, right, babe. best okay. things ever. Right. And what can I do for you, Could you chef? make the moussains? Because you open and drain the. Um, 
the okay, apricot. Drain the apricot uh, for me. Thank okay, you. Okay, I'll do and that. And I'll make the sticky toffee pudding no mix, problem. which is just a very uh, health conscious kind of half pint of double cream. <laughs> and, uh, well, Slap it on those thighs, eh, Nick? And uh, a, little, a little bit of butter in there as well. Mm -hmm. and, One uh, minute gone already. So next time you're ordering sticky toffee pudding, just remember what's in it. Oh, all right. And a little bit of maple syrup in here. Just a, mm. a smidge or so. Can I nick your whisk? That's OK. okay. Yeah, 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 that's reasons? cool, babe. Right, I'm thanks. sure Les won't mind that. Right, are you doing this for the mousse? Yeah. Do you want me do you want extra cream? Because, yeah, well, I'll, I'll do... If you can whisk up a little bit of extra cream for me. Yeah. Uh, so, um, there's that there. OK, Chef. The only thing you have to watch with this sticky toffee pudding sauce is that uh, if you over reduce it, it splits because there's just so much fat in here. Okay. So you do really need to whisk it as it's reducing down. So you, you're going to use some of that and we'll whisk up some of the apricot halves in here. OK, blitz those up. To make a nice puree to go through mm -hmm. the... Uh, well, that's quite a lot, that's it. chef has their own style of sticky toffee pudding. Is it something that... You yeah. Have, you, uh, obviously, they, you know about the cook school. When you had your restaurant, is it, is it a popular thing? Yep. I used to have it every Sunday lunch. I also see it on the pudding. I think that's ready. Then, then, yep. It's just about done. Yep. Okay. So what about the... you, Les? Do you have a special recipe for a sticky toffee pudding? Um, basically, uh, brown sugar, butter, eggs, and uh, pecans. A um, couple of, you know, a couple of eggs going in there, oh. and then I do a really quick one in the microwave. Actually, and make the butter scott, and it cooks in like five minutes. You know those nights when you just fancy a sticky toffee pudding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, it doesn't make the best, but you know, you can make a really, really quick one in the okay. microwave. That's oh, it. blessed relief when you stop. I oh, know it is. What about that caramel sauce then, Les? Tell us how you make that. Um, get the pan really hot, and the best sort of sugar to use is probably something like uh, granulated because it dissolves quicker. Um, and sure. um, just get it to that, and just don't stir it. That's the important thing. Make sure the pan is really clean. Uh -huh. Nick, is that okay for you? Oh, beautiful. Yeah? Thank you very much. Um, and. Um, just let it sort of to do its own thing and dissolve, really, Ains. Eh? That's the important thing. And then once it's dissolved, it will start to colour. And then just basically, once it's that lovely caramel colour, just get it off the heat. I mean, some people will actually sit the pan in um, a roasting tin of water to stop further cooking, you know? Yeah. That's what I do. I OK, right, now we're cracking on. Here's, okay, Nick. So this this is is the quick version. Cheese... Have a look at this, guys. This is just a very quick... This is kind of cheaty sort of cheesecake. But that was just the cream cheese, the whisked-up uh, uh, double cream, a little bit of Greek yoghurt in there as well. Yeah. Halfway uh, now, guys. And some caster sugar and then lemon juice. And the lemon juice starts to just really thicken this up beautifully. So that's a really nice texture. So we just pack that on top, like so. And this is just a really quick, simple and easy dessert to make. It really is kind of two minutes from start to finish and then use the, the scraper just to flatten that down on top mm -hmm. like so and then of course you just have to keep your fingers crossed that when you come to take this ring off that it all sort of comes away okay and it's all there holds together beautifully to the plate. okay i don't know if you Look. noticed everybody when i was whipping the cream don't over whip your cream keep it lovely and soft when you're making mousses or something like this if you over whip it's going to turn to butter the longer you do it the thicker it becomes all right so just take it nice and smooth and of course i'm looking for a marbling effect here so you want to keep a little bit of that back didn't you chef a little bit yes okay just for, uh, and we're just gonna i'm gonna get a spoon to do this actually it's so nice sexy presentation yeah absolutely get off my okay. plate right mm -hmm. There we are. Here we now, go. I've got a uh, quickie question here, guys. It's quite interesting because I think we have something called maple syrup here. There we are. Look at that, guys. Isn't that lovely? There we are. Nobody more relieved than me, Angel. I know. And this one is from Mary Rose uh, Barker from Yorkshire. Good afternoon to you, Mary. She says, I love making popcorn, but can you tell me how I can make a toffee coating and could you suggest some other flavourings? Well, um, I've got to say, from a personal point of view, I kind of like to spice it up a little bit. A little bit of celery salt or cayenne pepper Ooh. on plain popcorn, which is really nice. That's a very much an alternative to the sweet variety. But toffee sauce, Les, can you suggest something? Oh, well, toffee sauce, I mean, I, I think just butter and brown sugar, basically, melt it. Or, uh -huh. you know, something like muscovado and butter melted. Or Good, you yeah. Could just a cast of sugar and butter and just get it really fudgy and then quite nice if you add a, a little bit of orange rind in there so it's you've got that nice sort of orange flavor coming through mm. on the popcorn. and what about you then nick so uh, i've just 
It's work for you, mate. You've got a career out of this. <laughs> what are you like? I don't know. Um, OK, yeah, what, we're what talking would about... I, do? I, yeah. would, I would just make an ordinary caramel. I would yeah. just do... Oh, hey, does that go on there? No. Um, um, push that out there. Push that out there, yeah. Uh, I would just make an ordinary caramel. Now, um, I just, so I just melt the sugar, chuck in the popcorn <laughs> and, and let it cook out. Now, I've got, I'm going to be honest here, Ains. Remember yeah. I said about if you over reduce it, it splits? Yeah. You can just see it starting to split in here. So what so, are we going to do? So what we do is we just turn it out into a bowl. And whiz it. And then give it a really good whiz and okay. it can bring it back uh, together again. Little, again. little flecks of mint in there, so we've got mint well, and that going in the there. The reason I know it's starting to... Uh, how do you turn this up? It's okay. starting to split. You can see the, the, um, the butter, the fat rising to the surface. So just a little bit of liquidising. The other good thing this does good is it aerates Good tip. It. OK, yeah. it gives it, it just slightly lightens the mix with a bit of air. OK, uh, in there. chef. OK, how long have we got to go? Pop that in there. Just under two minutes, really, Nick. Beautiful. I think that's probably the best thing to say to you. OK, that's it. Here I can't are. believe how um, <coughs> okay, organised I feel. OK, there you go. Les, must be going wrong here. how's those pancakes coming Yeah, they're along, OK, my they're OK. I've just uh, started them off um, on top and I've transferred them to the oven because Nick requested that they be really thick. Oh. So I'm hoping they're going to be cooked in time, Nick, for you, mate. But they've just, uh, I've just pan-fried them, just made a very, very thick pancake batter. Used quite a lot of baking powder with the self-raising. Added some orange rind for flavour, and then the orange itself I'm just zesting now. OK. Um, and if I can have some... Uh, do you want... Uh, Nick, is there, there a plate are. I can have, babe? Um, yeah. Uh, there. Is that yeah. One? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, OK, oh, oh, oh. one minute to go now, guys. Let's get this out. Well, don't forget your lovely yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your, your, your caramel there. There we are. Don't worry, and um, don't forget, at the beginning of the show, I told you all about our competition, ladies and gentlemen. Your chance to win a £300 gourmet hamper coming up in a, literally in a minute's time. OK. <laughs> there we are. Oh, Nick, look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Watch yeah. All right, then you're going to chop that up. Okay. OK, let's get this out of the way. Mm-hmm. 30 Perfect. seconds to go now, Chef. A bit of that on there, too. Really coming along. Are you going to be ready, Les? Yeah, yeah. OK, about 20 seconds to go, Les. All right, mate. Let's get that right. away. Oh, it's just, I love the way that the nuts just sort of absorb mm. all the caramel into here and you get that lovely kind of praline sort of here thing going here. Here we go. Going, yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Fantastic. How about that? Oh, pancakes. Really lovely, simple desserts. Thanks for those pancakes, Les. What are you going to call all this, Chef? Um, uh, pecan only think this will drive you nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Um, well, very, very simple uh, sticky toffee pudding sauce. Yep. That was just the uh, uh, maple syrup, some cream, some butter, boiled it all down, whisked it up a bit, and then just poured it over the, uh, the gingerbread. This was the uh, gingerbread in the bottom of a, 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 a ring, made a classic uh, 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 cheese cake filling with the cream cheese, uh, some yogurt, some cream, some mm. lemon juice, some maple syrup, the apricots on top. And uh, you made this. This was this. Fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, Again, a little bit of the cream cheese, cream incorporated, just a touch of sugar. You need a little bit of sugar to capture that sweetness. And we've got the apricot puree going through there, a little mm. bit of mint there, and some maple syrup too, just to kind of bind it together. A little drizzle on top. We've got that lovely sort of a uh, crackle there of the lovely pecan nut. And of course, we've got some pancakes, Les. Oh, ding dong. Do you like yeah. that? Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, these are very good. Ding dong, Les says. Don't forget, they're all available on our website. We'll be here tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I promised you, didn't I? Um, I'm going to tell you all about that lovely competition. Well, if you want to win a gorgeous luxury hamper worth £300, all you have to do is answer this very simple question, courtesy of Brian Turner. Take it away, Brian. So, what is the traditional accompaniment to roast beef? Is it A, bread and butter pudding, B, Yorkshire pudding, or C, black pudding? To be in with a chance of winning, call 0901 110 810. That's 0901 110 810. Lines close at midnight tonight and calls cost 25p. Well, there you go. Get Darling Searamore and Ready Steady Cook from all of us. Bye-bye. <laughs>